Hello, welcome to Alproof Learning Channel. In this video, we will explain the common factors for two or more numbers and how to find the highest common factor. Follow me. What about number 8 and 12? At the beginning, we will find the factors of number 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. And the factors of number 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. We know that the common factors between the two numbers are 1, 2 and 4. These numbers are called the common factors of the two numbers 8 and 12. At the same time, the highest common factor between these two numbers is 4 because the number 4 is the highest divisor of the numbers 8 and 12 and it is donated by the symbolized HCF. What about the highest common factor? The highest common factor for a set of numbers is the highest number that all the numbers are divisible by. Now let's see how to find the highest common factor of two or more numbers. To find the highest common factor, follow the following. First, factorize each number to its prime factors. Second, find the common prime factors. Third, find the product of these common prime factors to get the HCF. Now, let's see an example to find the highest common factor. In this example, we want to find the HCF of the numbers 12 and 8. First, we will factorize the number 12 to find its prime factors. We will divide 12, divided 2, we will get 6. Then, 6 divided 2, we will get 3. And 3 divided 3, we get 1. Then, we will factorize the number 8 to its prime factors. We will divide 8 by 2, we will get 4. And divided 4 by 2, we get 2. And divided 2 by 2, we get 1. So, we can write the number 12 as the product of 2 times 2 times 3 and the number 8 as 2 times 2 times 2. Remember, equal factors should be placed below each other. As we see, the prime number 2 is repeated two times between the numbers 12 and 8. So the highest common factors between 12 and 8 is 2 times 2 which is equal 4. Therefore, the HCF is 4. Let's take another example. In this example, we want to find the HCF of the numbers 20 and 30. We will do as we did before. First, factorize the number 20 to its prime factors. 20 divided by 2, we get 10. And 10 divided by 2, we get 5. 5 divided by 5, we get 1. Then, let's factorize the number 30. 30 divided by 2, we get 15. 15 divided by 5, we get 3. And 3 divided by 3, we get 1. So, we can write the number 20 as a product of 2 times 2 times 5 and the number 30 as the product of 2 times 5 times 3. Let's see the equal factors that should be placed below each other. As we see, the prime number 2 and 5 are a common factor between the numbers 20 and 30. So, the highest common factor between 20 and 30 is 2 times 5, which is equal 10. So our HCF is 10. Finally, 
We have learned to find the HCF for two numbers. But what if we wanted to find the HCF for three numbers? Let's see this example. In this example, we want to find the HCF of the numbers 10, 15, and 35. We will start to factorize the 10. 10 divided 5, we get 2. And 2 divided 2, we get 1. Then, let's factorize 15. 15 divided by 5, we get 3. 3 divided by 3, we get 1. Let's go to number 35. 35 divided by 5, we get 7. And 7 divided by 7, we get 1. Now, we need to write the number 10 as a product of 5 times 2 and the number 15 as a product of 5 times 3 and the number 35 as a product of 5 times 7. Remember, the equal factors should be placed below each other. As we see, the prime number 5 is a common factor between the numbers 10, 15, and 35. So our highest common factor between these three numbers is 5. Therefore, the HCF is 5. At the end, do not forget that the number 1 is a common factor for all numbers. And also, there is no HCF between the prime numbers. I hope that the explanation was perfect. Don't forget to practice what you have learned by doing the exercises for this section. Thanks for watching and listening. See you next time.